Donald Trump spoke about the capture of the suspected terrorist who planted pipe bombs in the Northeast this past weekend. Let's see what he had to say. We have caught this evil thug who planted the bombs. Thank you, law enforcement. Thank you, police. Great. But the bad part, now we will give him amazing hospitalization. He will be taken care of by some of the best doctors in the world. He will be given a fully modern and updated hospital room. And he'll probably even have room service knowing the way our country is. And on top of all of that, he will be represented by an outstanding lawyer. His case will go through the various court systems for years, and in the end, people will forget, and his punishment will not be what it once would have been. What a sad situation. He's bemoaning modern civilization. He's bemoaning what makes us better than the bad guys. And he said uh, his punishment will not be what it once would have been. Yeah, when we were fucking cavemen and before Magna Carta in 1215, you like that better? You like the, oh, got him guilty. No trial, no due process, no nothing. Uh, cut off his head, fucking dismember him, you know, put a bullet in his brain, but, like, this is, this is, he's a walking id. This is what, this is what he actually believes. He said it in a speech. He said it in a rally. So it's like, he thought about it and then said it. At no point did he cut off his own train of thought and go, okay, whoa, 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 that's the more primitive part of us. That's what makes the bad guys bad guys. Let's be rational about this and let's, you know, reel it in a little bit and, and be more rational about it. No. He couldn't do it. He just couldn't do it. And also, this is a guy, and this is a party. So, oh, the, we love the Constitution, except for when we don't. What happened? I thought you guys are the Constitution, Constitution. Constitution is not debatable, except for when it is. Okay, this guy is a naturalized U.S. citizen. So he's, he's a U.S. citizen. His, the rights are not open for debate. It's not like, well, okay, but we can just take them away. Well, then what the fuck are the rights? What does that mean then? What are rights? Rights don't exist if the government can willy-nilly take it away whenever it chooses. That's the antithesis of to the whole concept of rights. You're allowed to have them unless we decide unilaterally that we don't want you to have them and then we take them away. <laughs> So then why even pretend to have a constitution in the first place? Why even pretend they believe in civil liberties? Why even pretend to believe in rights? But, and by the way, you're, it is not a defense of a criminal or a terrorist or whatever to say, hey, we need to have a process set up and a system set up by which we ascertain guilt or innocence. It is a defense of our way of life and Western civilization and modernity to argue that. It's a defense of us, not a defense of them. You understand what that means? It means if you really want to be better, if you really want to, you know, uh, be more enlightened, well, then this is how you act. This is what you do. So, it's terrifying to see this, man. It really is. Because you get a sense that he has no respect for checks and balances and rule of law. This is the guy, he runs a campaign, he goes out there and says, Law and order! That's what we're in favor of. Except when we're not in favor of it. Like when I say, the Geneva Conventions is the problem. So you believe in law and order, except the ultimate law and order. International law. Geneva Conventions, Nuremberg Tribunal, fuck that. <laughs> so in other words, law and order just means I get to be as punitive and and violent as I want, because we're the good guys by definition, and everybody else is the bad guys by definition, so if I declare you're a bad guy, you're done. But that's not law and order, that's actually the opposite. Law and order is believing in the, in the Geneva Conventions, believing in the Magna Carta, believing in the Nuremberg Tribunals, believing in international law. This guy has no respect for, for the judicial branch, branch and checks and balances. 
And this is why people say he's got an authoritarian streak. He's America's Putin. He's America, or he's America's Erdogan. I actually think it's slightly unfair to Putin <laughs> to call Trump America's Putin. This is, guys, you gotta understand, it, Trump is debating those things which are not debatable. And that's what makes him so dangerous. It's, it's not supposed to be a debate. Like, even the fucking bloodthirsty, disgusting neocons would go out there and say, we do enhanced interrogation, not torture. Now, why do they do that? Why are they doing that? Now, they're obviously dead wrong for doing the torture. But they're not stupid enough to call it torture because then you open the door to complete and utter anarchy and chaos around the world. Because then, so if you say, yeah, yeah, we torture, then that's a green light. Any regime can torture for any reason they want. And then now you don't have any international law anymore. So even when they're violating international law, they maintain that they're not because they know the reverberating effect it has throughout the world if you just say, yeah, international law, international law. I'm going to torture. I'm going to kill civilians. And that's going to be the point. Even Dick Cheney. As horrible as he is, his killing of civilians was more just gross negligence than cold-blooded murder and terrorism. That is the point! I want to kill civilians! That's the whole purpose. Trump says that is the purpose. Let's take out their families. The thing that scares me so much is that as he says this, I don't... There, nobody else is really... Giving the counter-argument that I just laid out for you here. Not to toot my own horn, <laughs> like, I'm the only ones explaining step-by-step step why what he's saying is, is not in the realm of respectability and acceptability and conversation. Like, I'm the only one pointing this out. Like, the media will cover this story, but it doesn't get any more coverage than, you know, him cursing, him, you know doing something that is just politically incorrect and not actually incorrect and morally indefensible. So this gets the same amount of coverage as the other stuff, and it just gets covered. It's not like somebody shows what he says and then explains, okay, here's why all of you should realize this guy is like fucking Mussolini. And I'm being kind with that one. When he says stuff like this, you can't, it, there are, it's not an illegitimate comparison now to go even further. And say he's worse than Mussolini by bringing when he says shit like this. So I'm being relatively tame by just comparing him to Mussolini. This is fascism 101. Unitary executive theory. No concern for laws. I am the ultimate law. Whatever I do is okay. This is what he's advocating for. Ban all Muslims from coming into the country. Let's deport all undocumented immigrants. And now, due process, habeas corpus, yeah, that too. It's gone, and we're gonna tell you it's gone. The neocons got rid of it, but they weren't dumb enough to say, yeah, I got rid of it. 